Um, okay, so this one's going to have two flash layers in it um, instead of just one. Um, but pretty much identical. I'm just going to hit ambient layer interiors, bring up the exposure to where I need it to be in that area. Um, for this photo, I'm going to bring the highlights down a little bit just because they're crazy. Um, I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. Do something like this. Um, go over to a flash layer, a flash layer interior. Bring that exposure where I need it. Um, I'm going to copy this and apply it to this one. Hopefully that was everything I need, right? That's, yeah, I copied them most of it. Okay. And then um, I just want these two flash layers. So I'm kind of looking at, so obviously you see the flash here. So if you see the flash here, I must be lighting this side of the room, right? So I'm looking over here at what I want this to look like. And then I'm looking over here, kind of looking at this side. Um, I think that's perfect. So I'm hey, we had a in. question in the chat about uh, this and it was, it's kind of like, how do you hide and how do you make sure that you're not overlapping the flashes and creating like a brighter spot? Will you go over that when you do the, the process? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, um, well, the brighter spot it still could happen, like in the middle between these, like you'll probably see one happen here. Um, but we'll, we'll soften that out with the ambient layer. That's where the ambient stuff comes in super handy. Um, now we're getting into multiple frames here. And I mean, when you're doing, you know, just like one ambient and then two flash layers like this, it's pretty easy to just drag this down. I have an action that reverses all the layers and I usually use that. So um, for this one, I'll just do it like this so you can see, but um, we're gonna probably start using the actions on the next the next photo. Um, but okay, so when you're using two flash layers together, um, this is basically like what I would call a side to side lighting or kind of like Y lighting um, where you're lighting one side and then you're lighting the other side and then you're kind of using what you want from both of those layers to make a single flash layer. And then we blend it with our ambient layers, just like normal. But so the first step when you're using two flash layers or multiple flash layers is you blend all the flash layers down first. So I'm going to take this one and this one, and I'm going to make that combine them into one. Um, and the way we do that is I'm, there's a few different ways, but, this one i'm going to do exactly what we were doing before i'm going to add a mask i'm going to fill it with gray and now we're kind of seeing both you can see a little bit of the flash you know from this one and then you can see half of this because it's 50 percent opacity we should be seeing you know halfway through down to the layer beneath it i'm going to select my brush and i'm going to go 100 percent flow 100 percent opacity up here and I'm going to kind of zoom out a tiny bit so I can have some working space around the image. I want to make a really nice big brush so it's really soft. And we're going to try to get this blend really easily. Um, you can kind of see up here where it's not it's not hurting it much um, as far as bright and, and darkness transition. Um, but let's see what we do here. So this top layer, you can see on the highlight on the thumbnail is coming from the right side. So this frame we want the left side of this okay so i'm going to take my white brush i'm going to brush in the left side because we want to show that right so i'm going to brush that in just like that then i'm going to switch brushes and i'm going to brush out the side we don't want and i'm in the frame here like you can kind of see me in the window there so that's this obvious side we don't want to see me so we just brush that side out. And if we can help it, I'm gonna put that hotspot right above the window. So it kind of even helps tell, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not out of line that there's light coming in there. So now you can see this mask, it's basically white and black, half and half, because we are we had literally split that frame in half. We're showing half of it and we're hiding half of it, okay? Um, what we're gonna do is take that and just merge it down. 
now we have a single flash layer and a single uh, ambient layer underneath. So we're going to call this flash. Flash, flowish with, and then ambient. So we did a look at that really very stupid. Let's see. Flash. There we go. Okay. So same thing. I'm going to add a mask to it. 50% mask. Fill. 50% gray. I know this is getting repetitive, but I'm trying to drill this into your head. This is what it's all for. Um, we're going to take this part. We're going to darken it. Uh, so to darken, and we're going to fill this with black, right? We're doing the, um, the highlight control layer. Let's call this windows and highlights. Now, I'm going to select the mask, white brush, 100% opacity. I'm going to zoom into this window. Now, to make it really easy, um, I'm going to just, uh, the object selection tool, this is a newer tool in Photoshop, but you can basically go around here. I mean, this is a perfect square, so I could easily just grab this, but we're going to let that select it. Oh, gosh, <laughs> I could have done better with the polygonal or with the this one. <laughs> but anyways, the object selection tool works pretty good sometimes. Um, back to brush, 100%. We're on white. Size is good. And I'm just going to brush that in at 100% because we want to pull that window, right? Control the highlights that are outside um, and just kind of make this look nice and crispy. Deselect, I hit the command D to deselect that, get rid of the marching ants. Um, and now we have the window pulled. That's also how you do it, your window pull, like your quote unquote window pulls. Um, I usually just try to tackle it all in the flash layer, but if you need to do a dedicated window pull, you pretty much do it the same way. You just set it to darken mode and then brush in the area that you want it to affect. Um, Next thing we're going to do is just fix the ambient, that shadow area. Bring it up here. Luminance. Boom. Luminosity blending mode. And then we're going to just option black mask on there. And I'm going to paint it in right above here. Kind of hide that whole flash section. Um, we also. You can kind of see the see that go away. You can kind of see the flash reflections in this too. We're just going to brush that out with the luminance because that's basically going to be putting in the natural light back into everything. Um, and see how we kind of in this area right here we carried over, and now it's got some bloom back in there. Um, I'm going to brush that out real quick. So I just don't want to do anything to the work we already did. I don't want to ruin that. So I'm going to just keep that out of there. Almost went way over it. There we go. Um, kind of the same thing's happening on the on the ceiling a little bit right there with the color. Um, so we'll just make another color layer. I'm going to select this. And this time I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to select it so much. Actually, I'm going to 20%. Uh, I'm not going to do a selection because it's just very subtle, but I'm just going to kind of go over that area to help uh, warm it up. Um, and I think we might be able to do a little bit of, uh, and this is the non-destructive editing part. I can always go back to these layers if I see something later and kind of dial something in. I want to fix that little highlight there fix this highlight on this table, kind of bring it back into, you know, you can still see the highlight, but I want the detail to be there and I don't want it to be too distracting or like pull your eye away from the window and kind of, I really like this window. That's why I took a shot of it, but it's, it's cool. Like all slide in triple frame type of deal. Cool little situation there. So that's, that's how I do my little 50%, uh, 
side to side lighting. You're going to see me do this more probably um, where I'm brushing myself in and out of frames and that's kind of how I do it. Um, so next thing here, same as always, flatten image, command S to save. Pop over here back into Lightroom, hit the finishing interior, and we're pretty much done. I mean, you can always, like, if, if you hit finishing interior and it comes out something like this, you feel like you need to bump up your exposure, just, just do it. Just tweak this right to where you think it looks finished, and you're done. So I would mark that with the B and just move along to the next photo. Um, that's that.